Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to quickly talk to you about getting into film photography on the cheap. This is like part two. There's a video up there that I did a really cheap way of getting into film photography. So that was with the Canon EOS 10. I think I used some Kentmere. And how cheap can you go? And that was really cheap, but also that camera's just died. Rest in peace, Canon EOS 10. I'm not going to miss you because I've got more cameras. So can you get into film photography on the cheap? Yes, if you're prepared to take a gamble and just have a bit of faith in the people out there. <laughs> it's also about a bit of patience as well. Don't just dive in. So let's start at the beginning. Let's start with a super small and we're going really small with this. This is the uh, Olymp Olympus Pen EE half frame 35mm camera. This was a bit of an impulse buy. I fancied having a go at half frame. I don't know why. I struggle to do 36 frames. 72 is a nightmare. Um, this was, what did this one? This was £12, including postage. Class to spares or repairs. Bit of a pump, but the photos looked like it was in absolutely brilliant condition. And it is. Um, it works a charm. The light meter in the front works brilliantly shutter speeds are accurate not bad eh 12 quid that just happened to be that just happened to come up uh, if i searched on ebay for 35 mil film cameras newly listed and that was a bite now so that's a bargain let's go to the next one let's go with let's go with how i got into the medium format things so this is the pentax 6x7 I got this because I originally had one of these, the RB67, with two lenses, three lenses, two lenses, I think it was. Might have been three, can't remember. Um, I bought this original one that I had for 200, uh, two, two lenses, it was when I bought it originally. RB67 Pro SD, two lenses, 200 pounds. 200 pounds. Facebook Marketplace, yeah? I then come across someone on Facebook uh, RB67 group that wanted an RB67 but wanted to swap it for a Pentax 6x7. I jumped on that one, two lenses, traded a, this with three lenses, so the uh, 105, 55 and a 200mm, plus the light meter, prism finder, and the handle and the grip, everything you see here, including the strap. Um, so that technically cost me 200 pounds. Bargain. I have then since bought another RB67 because there was a certain element of it I missed. Uh, video up there about that one. So that cost me 300 pounds. That's the most expensive camera I've bought, but that was with two lenses. Uh, this is just the Pro S but it's with two lenses, so that cost me £300. Try buying that kit now. It's probably closer to 650 maybe 700 if not more, because it's got the 90mm, which is a great, great lens. So that's an easy, quick way into the medium format kind of things for a bargain price, if you're prepared to look and you get lucky. Speaking of lucky, this is another medium format. This is the Fuji GA645. Video up there, or it might be down in the description. Uh, so this is one where I took a punt. An absolute punt. Now these were going for seven hundred pounds at the time, um, in what we considered good condition and everything. This was spares or repairs. I took a punt on this, seventy quid. I thought if it doesn't work, I just sell it back. It's fine. It can go. I can put it back on eBay and sell it, and I'll make money because clearly they're selling. So seventy quid. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it at all. It works. It's got a little bit of paint scuffing. The switch is a bit stiff. To to use, but everything else about this works perfectly. 70 quid. So let's go back to the 35. Let's go to another bargain and a bit of a gamble again. This is the Canon AE-1 program. We all know about the Canon AE-1 program, but it's in black. So I took a bit of a punt on this one. So this was just body only. Uh, this was 30 quid. Uh, again, spares or repairs. The winder doesn't work. Yeah, that's it. But because I ha had a power winder already, I was able to put that on and see if it works, and the power winder makes it work. So, a 
very, very, very good condition AE1 program for 30 quid. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I could take it apart and fix the winder if I wanted to, but I'm quite happy with it as is. Another 35mm, the Canon EOS 5, not with the lens on this one, this, that's off my other 5Ds. So this is the EOS 5, fantastic camera, feels the same as my digitals, which is great. Um, the thing with this one was the dial was broken, so the outer ring of the dial sp would spin and not do anything, because the, it's the inner part of the dial which changes the options. A fix, a bit of sellotape, sellotape, 17 quid. Fully working, brilliant camera. See, you've got to take a punt, and it's worth just keeping an eye out on eBay and things. Uh, we'll go to this one. The Speed Graphic, Graphlex, 135mm lens, 4x5 camera. Uh, this one was a very big punt, but I knew it would sell. If it didn't work, I could sell it back. So this was £130. These are going at the moment for about £400. Um, it's scuffed, it's old, it's a 1948 camera, so it would be old. Uh, the only thing that didn't really work well was the lens, but I've stripped it, cleaned it. It's not fully working, but it works better than what it did when I got it. So that's 130 quid, brilliant. And then my bargain of the century is the Canon AE-1. But why? You've got a Canon AE-1 program, bear with. This is the Canon AE-1 uh, in fantastic condition. It's just got a broken battery door. This came with this beauty, the Canon A1. Uh, that also had this lens, the 85mm. It came with a 28mm and a 50mm f1.4. It also had the rare as unicorn stakes <laughs> motor drive with the AA battery mount inside um, that came with that as well plus spares uh, like uh, filters filter holders loads of other gubbins the, there's even the original box for the power winder um, so remember that two cameras winder other bits and pieces lots of stuff 50 quid facebook marketplace 50 pounds i know um, amazing Absolutely amazing. Uh, I got very, very lucky on that one. I have to say very, very lucky. But it doesn't hurt to just keep an eye out. Keep keep looking. Make it a little morning ritual or something like that. Or before you go to bed, just have a quick scout through on eBay. Set them some save things. You'll find some absolute bargains out there if you keep looking. Be prepared to trade. Whatever. But you will find some absolute stonking deals. That'll do. I'm just partly bragging about my bargains, but also it might inspire you just to give it a go. Keep looking, you never know what you might find. Americans do it with their thrift stores. They all seem to pick up some absolute steals. You can do it here in the UK on social media and eBay and Gumtree or whatever. That'll do. Thank you as always for watching. I hope that was useful or if it isn't, hey ho. <laughs> Uh, I hope you're all well, stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Do take care.